You guys were involved in the Brian Way case. This was the case of Azov Films, which led to one of the biggest child porn busts ever in this country. Tell me about your involvement in that. Uh, so over, over a number of uh, years, we received reports about Azov Films um, or similar websites that the, that the same person was running just under different domain names. So we would forward those reports to law enforcement. And as we received more reports, um, in some cases, we were actually receiving information on the actual administrator of the site, um, Brian Way, as you had mentioned. It ended up in the uh, in the Project Spade bus over over the last number of years that uh, that that all came out. For us, I think it was really really rewarding and really exciting to see that uh, the investigation that Toronto Police had done and all the hard work that they had done and it, it paid off for them and and to see this guy finally uh, taken into custody was pretty. Uh, Pretty good feeling. Well, I don't think when we set up the tip line or when I was a part of setting up the tip line in the beginning, we could have imagined something so enormous occurring and that we would have uh, played a bit of a role in that. So it was really rewarding and fulfilling. At the same time, you kind of pause for a moment and think about all the children that these individuals had been abusing. Uh, and it was very graphic in nature. So, you know, there's always the balance between thank God we're here doing this work and thank God police are doing such a, an exceptional job across this country. But at the same time, you know, I, I, it's just hard to wrap your head around even to this day that, um, you know, we have people who will do this, these kinds of things to children.